What's up everybody? This is Whiskey in the Six, I'm Rob. Doing the Macallan Terra. This is 43.8%. This bottle was given to me by my buddy Peter. He got it in a, as a travel retail exclusive. This was only available through travel retail. It is very similar in box and shape to the Macallan Estate but in my opinion, this is a little bit better and I'll tell you why. On the nose, you recognize this as Macallan right away. Okay, so there must be some good cherry casks used for this. But not only that, there's probably a little bit of age to this one as well. I believe that this is about 200 American if I'm not mistaken. So on the back, it says matured exclusively in cherry seasoned oak casks. We know that Macallan they always season their casks. They're not actually buying old sherry casks that had sherry in them for decades. They just pour some sherry in their casks, let it sit for a couple years, if that, and then they go right into putting their whiskey in there. So they're seasoning their casks. That's kind of how they do it. Their wood, um, highly touted amongst cooperages, uh, the way they're putting their barrels together, all that kind of stuff is still highly respected, but the fact that they're not getting high-end sherry casks anymore is a little bit concerning in my opinion. Although on the nose, this one kind of smells like an older 2017. It reminds me of the classic cut 2017, but brought down to 43.8% and perhaps a little bit older as well. On the palate, yep, easy drinking, exactly what you expect from a Callan. Nothing really fighting you on the palate. There is a good amount of sherry. It does have some nice notes of dark chocolate. Not too much on the fruity side, more on like the sweet dessert-like side. Let's go in for another sip. Yeah, good stuff. Honestly, this is probably one of the better Macallans that I've had in a long time, especially bottled at a lower ABV. I'm not sure how many of these are still available. I don't know if this is one of those things that they make every year, and I don't think it is, to be honest with you. So I do think it's somewhat limited, uh, despite only being travel retail. Even if there's 90,000 bottles, if it's exclusively sold travel retail, the odds are that'll stick around for a little while. This one came out with a few others and I believe they were all at like 40%. So this was the highest ABV of the bunch, which kind of tells me that it might be the oldest of the bunch as well. If I had to guess, I would say that there's probably some 15 to 18 year old whiskey in here, maybe a little bit of younger whiskey, maybe some 12 year old as well. But I would say like leaning towards 18 with a 16 year old average, maybe 15 year old average. Last sip and I'm gonna give it a mark. Yeah, pretty good stuff. I think as far as Macallan goes, this is actually relatively a decent price. Um, travel retail exclusive, like I said, exclusive to travelers, it says it right on the bottle. I would buy this bottle, I think it's worth it. If you're creeping up to the 300 American mark, definitely not, don't buy it. Uh, anywhere closer to 200 American, and I think it's worth it. Um, but that being said, would I take this over the 15? Probably. Right now, the, the 15 year old is $230 in Canada, which I think is absurd. So yeah, I would take this over the 15 year old. I think it's a little bit better. Definitely more on the sherry side. Um, even compared to the double oak. But yeah, this is better in my opinion. A little bit extra ABV with that 0.8, so 43.8. I'm gonna have to give this one an 86, 87. I think that's pretty good. Um, I would buy a bottle to drink. Um, good stuff overall. 
If you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. You can click the bell to get notifications when I do release a video. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. You can support this channel on Patreon. Cheers.